Have you ever thought about starting your own podcast? When we were trying to get this podcast off the ground, we had so many questions. How do we record an episode? Where do we find background music? How do we get our show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all the other places that people like to listen? And where do we find advertisers? The answer to every one of these questions is really simple. Anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, distributing, and monetizing your podcast. And best of all, it's 100% free and 100% ridiculously easy to use. Anchor makes it simple to get up and running. You can upload and schedule your podcast ahead of time. It publishes to all the major podcast platforms. You can easily check your stats. I could go on and on, but instead, why don't you go and get started? Go to anchor.fm slash start to join the e-commerce minute and a diverse community of podcasters already using Anchor. That's anchor.fm slash start. We can't wait to hear your podcast. It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. It's E-Commerce Minute, episode 248. In today's episode, Macy's and Beta partner for pop-up shops. Macy's has announced it's partnering with electronics discovery store Beta to expand its market at Macy's pop-up shops within Macy's stores. Part of the deal includes Macy's taking a minority stake in Beta, which also helps brands build out physical stores. Over the next year, the market at Macy's will test new size formats by using Beta's technology and will expand the size of some of the existing pilot locations. The partnership will allow the market concept to be scale faster by customizing its platform for Macy's and making it easier for brands to participate, along with furthering the company's goal of bringing more excitement and fresh experiences into stores, said Macy's president, Hal Lawton, in a statement. Beta was founded in 2015 by Nest Lums, Vibu Norby, William Munton, and Philip Raub. The concept stores help shoppers try tech gadgets before buying them, even if those products aren't yet in stores. Beta's knowledge and cachet in the home consumer electronics space provide an opportunity to introduce new products and categories to Macy's shoppers. Macy's also recently acquired New York-based Story, a shop that rotates merchandise based on a theme every few months. As part of that deal, Story founder and CEO Rachel Sheckman joined Macy's as a brand experience officer. This is all part of Macy's recent moves into transformational and experiential shopping, a topic we've been following. It's no secret that bricks and mortar retail are suffering, but the ones that hang on are coming up with new and innovative ways to remake their space to keep the customers coming to their physical space. Market at Macy's originally lost in February as a pop-up concept in only 10 Macy's stores. During the program, the retailer opened its ground floor to brands that don't yet have their own physical locations. The concept was met with positive initial feedback, and now the market concept is expanding more broadly. Beta currently has nine standalone locations in the U.S., and the Macy's deal gives the brand a good runway to expand its footprint. Beta also works with Lowe's with a store-within-a-store concept for selling and demoing smart home products. Beta. 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 It's, if nobody knows, it's actually B-A-T-A. B-A-T-A. So don't look up beta.com. You will not find what you're looking for. <laughs> B the number eight T A. <laughs> So I'm looking at the products. They got some neat stuff. It's like a high end. Uh, what, what was those stores they used to have? The Hemmaker Schlemmaker and the uh, <laughs> Brook, uh, Brookstone. And what was the, the Sharper Image? <laughs> Sharper Image and Brookstone. Uh, they're but they're in store. Cool. The stores look pretty cool. It's got kind of an apple, hipster apple feel. A lot of white, a lot of, lot, of, lot, of, lot of bleached woods, black mirrors, little chandeliers. Very cool. Very cool. So it seems like there's nine actual stores right now. Austin, Corte, Madera. I don't know where that is. Palo Alto, Houston, Seattle, Santa Monica, New York, Portland, San Francisco. And then there's a ton of them in Lowe's. Actually, there's one in Delaware. I might go check this out. It's in Wilmington. Yeah, so pretty cool. And what we've been talking about a lot lately is the pop-up shops and the experiential retail. And this is a great example of that. You know, Macy's has some great uh, real estate, but as we all know, the foot traffic is shrinking and, and they need more creative ways to figure out how to use that, that space. And I think this is a good fit. Yeah. I mean, it's taken, you know, that, that small shop divided up shop concept into a big store. And I think that's just bringing it back. I mean, you think about it, Macy's divided into a whole bunch of, you know, the shoe department, there's the, the makeup department, right. But divided even smaller, I think that's a good idea to do, um, especially for products that like people won't really have stores for. Yeah, no, that's a great point. And what we've been seeing is a lot of the department stores, they, they depend on that beauty customer coming through, but so much of that is going online. And we've talked about how AR is moving in. 
like when you walk through a Macy's and the, the first department you cut through was the cosmetics department and the perfume and the cologne and all that. And it's huge. And then they also have those little stations that people go to and they get the little makeup demos. A lot of that stuff's going online. You know, if a woman wants to try on some eyeshadow or, or nails, that's the AR that is, is so incredible for that now. So they don't have to concede as much floor space to that kind of thing. But what do you fill it up with? Well, you, if you look at on beta's site, not only are the stores beautiful, but the, but the product selection skews to a more higher end customer. So I think Macy's is trying to appeal to that, you know, deep pocketed millennial, especially if you look at what's on beta site, you've got, you know, VR glasses and you've got, um, electric yeah. mics and, uh, Sonos and, and things like Sonos. that. And I, yeah. so I mean, like the other side of it is, you know, something like me, I love this kind of stuff and there's certain things I actually do own already, but there's certain things I want to check out on hand instead of just ordering it. Right. So you have both, it just makes sense. And then that brings a person like me into Macy's, which I don't really want to go into. Um, but if something is like that there, I will definitely do it. Yeah. And, and it's neat because you can put your hands on this stuff. Cause uh, you know, when you're looking at VR glasses or uh, here's a great example, they have that 3d pen where you can kind of write in the air and, mm -hmm. and, it, and it's like a 3d printer. That's the kind of stuff you want to go check it out. You want to put your hands on it. Um, and Macy's doesn't have to carry any of this inventory. I'm sure a lot of this stuff is, you know, you, you look at the, you look at the product and they say, okay, we'll take your money and we'll ship it to you in two days. No big right. deal. You know, especially if you live in, you know, like in New York city, you don't want to be carrying your, your scoot scoot uh, down the street. You want to have it delivered to your house. <laughs> your scoot scoot. Your scoot scoot. <laughs> All right. So pretty cool. I, you know, I'm actually, I, I, I would love to know when one of these gets set up, I'd love to go check it out and uh, put my hands on some of these scoot scoots and electric guitars and 3d printers. Yep. All right. Got anything else, Bart? That is it. All right. That's your e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion, or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy. <laughs>